Welcome to the Infamous Ghost Podcast. I'm Josiah. And I'm Celis. And this is where we give you our weekly perspectives of pop culture, sports, and entertainment. Josiah, man, are you excited for this episode, bro? Yeah, I am. Man, tell them what we just saw. Huh? Tell them what we just saw. Uh, we just saw Ant Man. Uh, I want. It's not called Ant Man Three. It's called Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumia. I keep calling it Ant Man Three, but I gotta call it by its full name. Yeah, but I ain't, I ain't, I didn't even know they included the Wasp in the. I thought that was just for the sequel. Yeah, me, me too. But I guess she a a part of the character now. Like, yeah. but yeah, we went to go see that yesterday, man. I, I was excited for that movie, and to be honest, it didn't disappoint. Yeah, we we both was really excited. And like we've been talking about it for months since last year, if we think about it. We've been talking about it since Black Panther came out. Yeah, man. It was, I think this film got delayed too a little bit. So they pushed mm-hmm. it back uh, back a couple months. But yeah, this is the first film in what, phase five? We in phase five, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, so this is the first film in phase five. It kicks off like it showed it, it's Kang's first appearance in the MCU. So that was a big, I think that was something big everybody was expecting to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was actually happy to see uh Paul Reed, uh Paul Reed Rugg, Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd. I was actually happy to see him return and actually to like get like a little deep like dive into his life after everything happened from Endgame. Yeah, so I, see, after Endgame, you didn't hear much of him. Yeah, well, I guess we can get right into it then. But yeah, like, cause in the beginning of the movie, um, I think it was kind of like a fast recap. I get it. Uh, yes. po- post blip, post end game. So mm-hmm. we got, and then like end game was in 2019. We're in 2023. So like, they got to catch everything up pretty quick. So I get that they have to speed things up. But man, I feel like it was rushed. I right, get it. He had the book deal, whatever. And like his his girl doing well now, uh, she got mm-hmm. her own little company. But I feel like man, that that little that that thirty that thirty seconds to like sixty seconds of recap that was like too quick for me. Yeah, it kind of was like has she, yeah like like how you said it like has she brought uh, bought her father's company back? Yeah, and like all all of a sudden he just well I understood like. I can imagine myself in that universe if he's one of the superheroes and one of the superheroes put out a book. I understand how could that that can be a number one selling um book in that timeline. Yeah, but but it's like I don't, I don't know. But, could they could they have gone any other way? I mean, yeah, kind of, but I guess they didn't want to spend too much story backtracking on like yeah. how Cassie became. Cassie, you know, you know, they they just kind of threw that in a movie. Yeah, right? and, and yeah, that was that's that was what I was gonna bring up next. How like Cassie is just a scientist now and like slash yeah. act, scientist slash uh, activist. activist. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I feel like her character. I wasn't a fan of her character. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, Why not? Uh just it's like I don't know. I feel like every, every movie need that annoying character and i feel like she was that annoying character for me how how was she the annoying character i feel like <laughs> i don't know i feel like who who could have been an annoying character i don't know i don't think it was an annoying character in this movie not not like that she had a I bad like script maybe. or anything but it's more so it's like the choices she was making is like because um ant-man and why do you call him ant-man um damn what's his name scott. scott scott yeah scott he knew the decision she was making even uh, her grandma Janet knew the decisions. Wait, that's not her grandma, is it? No, it's not. She called them grandma and grandpa. I, I don't know if they, I don't know if Hope and Scott married in the movie. I don't know. I don't think I don't they know. they don't think they, I don't know. But she was calling them grandma and grandpa. Yeah, I feel like they all knew like the decision she was making wasn't the best, especially Scott and Janet. Well, I mean, it's it's a, I think. They what they trying to do with her is create an origin story. So she's a young hero. She's making mistakes, but at the same time, her dad don't want her to come into that world because he know how dangerous it is. But sooner or later, he gonna realize like it's too late. So he got to show her the rope so she can be able to take care of herself. Right. Right. Okay. And I feel. I feel. That's where they going with that. Yeah. 
I don't know. I thought like she was just hard headed in the movie. I'm just like, saying, like, you can say that for every young hero in every movie. Look at Spider Man and Homecoming. Like, come on now, how, how many epic fails do he have in that movie? Facts, facts. facts. Well, yeah, facts. I, yeah, yeah, Everything, right. bro, come on now. Everything that happened with Vulture in that movie was his fault. Bro, you're not wrong. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, but so right. they got they got right into it with this movie. Like within the first five minutes, they was in, in the quantum realm. Right into it. Like uh, I think it was they, they were at the dinner table and they were talking about how how Cassie got a suit and all that, and mm-hmm. how she was studying the quantum realm. And the grandma was like super mad about that shit. So they ended up going to the basement and. That's what I, she was showing them when they researched, and she said she sent a signal down to the quantum realm through mm-hmm. her machine, and uh, the grandma was like, "Oh shit, no!" So she turned it off, and then they all got sucked into the quantum realm, right? Because Janet, she already knew she'd been in the quantum realm for she'd been stuck in there for thirty years. Thirty years—that's a long ass time. Long time, and she already knew what was up. That's why she never told her family about it. But I feel like she should have told her family about it because you're in a family full of scientists. They're going to eventually figure it out. Yeah. But, Man, yeah. What What did you think about that scene where they was all traveling to the quantum realm? Man. I know that was a. Tough man, scene. man, that yeah. that was yeah, that went crazy. The graphics in this movie, man, they they stepped it up. That just made me think, like, yo. How, how like how long does it take to edit stuff like that? What really made me think, like, think of that question. Remember when uh, Scott got real big to uh, save? They they was falling in a quantum. Oh realm? yeah, he saved his daughter. Yeah, he caught her. Yeah. And then like when they got to the quantum realm, she like did like this and like hit his hand, and then he went small. Then she ran up to him. There was no cuts. There was no cuts. I just wondered, like, damn. She hit. No, how long she, does... she she hit the pump on his hand. Yeah, she hit the pump, and then he got to a normal size. Yeah. Then she just ran up to him. Like that made me think, like, how the f- how long does it take to edit this shit? And like, how many shoots you got to do for this? I shit? mean, they shot this uh, a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah, and I'm pretty sure, like, they they every day they shoot, they working on footage as soon as it's done being filmed. Oh, so they man. they spend it, and they got a whole like company dedicated to doing the visual effects. So. Literally, yeah, 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 Marvel, Marvel, good. <laughs> <laughs> they they got that Disney money, so shit, they uh, ain't tripping. All right, all right but uh, like, what did you think about all? Like, I didn't notice, I didn't know this because because they didn't tease it in the uh, first two movies. But like in the quantum realm, you got entire cities, civilizations. Like, it's people, crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I didn't know that. I'm like, damn, it's actually people down there. For real, and like you could tell, like. This wasn't like the quantum realm that Scott got stuck in, um, from uh the second one. Yeah, he had, they actually went deep, deep into yeah, life. like they were so small that they was like in a foreign area between time and space. Yeah, so that that that's crazy how they that's wrote that into the script. Yeah, it's it's crazy how they wrote that into a script. But, but I don't know, like. I feel like that's it. It was perfect, honestly. Like the way they broke it down, kind of made sense. Yeah, man. I <laughs> one scene that, that stood out to me. It was funny with that little pink dude. Um, he's like, "Drink me." Yeah, drink me. Yeah, <laughs> bro. You Do just I... see his daughter walk up with all the. I thought it was blood out of her mouth. Uh-huh. Damn, she drink. Drink the ooze. You like yeah, drink, drink the, the ooze. ooze. Yeah, just, and then once they drank it, they they was able to understand, understand everybody. Yeah. Man, I, this movie has some good comedy um chops in there. It was yeah. a it was a lot of good one 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 and two liners. For real, it did. Oh yeah, and honestly, that that was the like that was a problem for me. Honestly, like what? it wasn't too much comedy. It was perfect amount, but it's just the action scenes didn't really hit for me. The action scenes, what? Yeah, I think, like the what? fight scenes. I don't know. It's just... I think they was better. I think the action scenes in this was probably better than I want to say the last two to three Marvel movies that came out. Bro, Black Panther, what? You wh- come on now. We talking action about scene. action scenes, Fight scene. action. Yes, N- bro. Namor when he took over um Wakanda, that bro, was that, the best action scene. What? Come on now, that was the only good action scene. 
Um, well, that was the um, only good action scene in a three-hour movie. No, when they was fighting on the bridge, when the um, no, not that, not that street that, fight when that he was, was fighting with a that was a, that was a good fighting scene. No, that that shit was dog shit. Come on now. E- even the end when they attacked the ship, what? All right, the end was good. I'm I'm saying, Ant Man has some of the best action scenes I've seen since Doctor Strange. I, I was about to say, I think Doctor Strange. Even um Quan Chi and the Ten Rings got better uh, action. I've said scene. since Doctor, I said since Doctor. Oh Strange. yeah, yeah, that came up before, yeah. But nah, Look, I don't know, man. Black Panther was a good movie, but it didn't tie any, it didn't tie into anything for me. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It was a it well, was a stand, Iron was Heart a stand, coming out. Iron yeah, Heart but coming it was, out. I'm saying, but it that was an introduction to a character. It did. It was. It still was a standalone movie. It was its oh, own. Yeah, I, it was its own story. Listen, bro, we we are pieces together. Uh Rashid uh Riri Williams goes to we, MIT. We we Williams. Riri, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, hold on. I can't talk. Let me stretch out my lips real quick. Yeah, yeah stretch them lips, man. <laughs> Boy, you walked into that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Riri, Riri. Wilms go to MIT, and we all know um MJ and um Ned go to MIT. Yeah, but Peter, yeah, but still, uh, bro, uh, that, it's that not tie yeah, together. but that's not Black. I'm saying Black Panther. All what right. did that tie into? Nothing. It's gonna tie Ironheart. That yeah, no, that I was just like. they just introduced Ironheart so she can become her own character in the MCU. Right. Okay. You're right. But I feel like she. Black Panther. It's like, play it's like it's like Black Widow and oh my voice cry. It's like Black Widow and Iron Man too. Like obviously you All knew right. she wasn't gonna be a part of the franchise, but her character had to be introduced. Facts. Okay. Facts. I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Hey, what? Hey, what did you think about Cassie's new suit? Cassie's new suit. Yeah. Cassie, the daughter. Cassie, yeah, the purple suit she got. The, the new, the new suit, the one she made for yeah, herself. I yeah, I don't remember the old suit she had. I'm saying the new she she got a suit. Oh, oh what you, you think of the you, suit? No, you said what do you think of the new suit? I, I mean, it's still new because one. she never had one. You said when you say new, that Bro. that's 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 referring that she had. A Bro, older she was a she was a five year old in all the other movies. How was she have? That, why would she that's have a what suit I'm like. like that? Come that's, on, that's, that's all right. You you confuse me, man. That's you like saying me. that's like me saying, "Did you see the new Ant Man movie?" Yeah, because there's it's previous Ant Mans. The same, man. Come on. <laughs> but all right, what I think of the suit? It was kind of like plain, in my opinion. Like, not a, it really didn't stand out. But like I said, I feel like they Marvel always add something to the um. Their um suits, but and eh, and like I, I kind of like how they made her not know what she was doing. Like she did not know how to do like the little yeah. Uppercut. That's why. That's why I yeah. said it's an origin story for. I, I think later down the line she gonna play a big part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What what did what did you think about it? Mm, me, I liked it, man. The purple definitely like it, it coincide with the quantum realm. I, I think all those colors just. Blended together perfectly. Whoever color graded this man, he knew what he was doing because the colors in this film stood out to me. So, what did you think about? Um, I, we didn't talk about this, but I wanted to talk about it. What did you think about that intro scene with Janet and Kang? That I'm like, I, like I was confused at first. I was like, what's going on? Like, why is she would conquer? But I felt like it was a good scene. It was good cliffhanger because it like. Cause like yeah, we he all saved, knew, he saved a life, yeah. Cause we all knew like he was gonna be the villain, but we all knew she wasn't a villain. So like it left me with like a head scratch. Like what what's going on here? Yeah, but yeah, yeah later yeah later down the line you you seen in the movie that what happened. But yeah, I think that was like a good cold opening. Yeah, it, bro, it was honestly. Yeah, that was that, a good, great. I, Michelle Pfeiffer played her role in this movie. She probably she had, did. She probably had the best performance out of everybody. That's that's not ridiculous I, next, to next say. Next to bro. Kang, I think her and Kang probably stole the show. That, that, bro, I I actually agree with you on that, bro. Yeah, she Man, did her thing. I, I feel like I feel like Hank was just 
a, a body in this movie. <laughs> what what arc did his character have? I mean, <laughs> like, like what purpose was like what purpose did he serve to be in here besides being Janet's husband? I mean, oh damn, shit. Shit, and he was flying a ship, like <laughs> yeah, yeah you're right. But still, like, you feel me? He a ship flyer, like yeah. But he did come to the rescue at the end of the movie with the ants. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the, they, those was his ants that he brought down. Don't yeah, forget. Yeah, because they they um it was they the fell into ship. like a different like they not a, it, it fell into the thing with them when they got trapped. Yeah, but it, it fell into the thing with them, but uh, like yeah. in a different. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like times, I don't. Yeah, it's the quantum realm. That shit confused yeah. me, <laughs> bro. I another scene I wanted to talk about, man. Well, um, they was at that little bar. You remember? And then Bill Murray came in. Uh, well, you know who Bill Murray is? Bill Murray yeah, from, no, from, from Ghostbusters. Uh-huh. He was the mama old boyfriend. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> bro. That man is hilarious. He had me cracking up he in that did. movie, bro. Good. Uh, he was the way he was actually throwing jabs at Hank, uh, talking about how he smashed his wife. <laughs> that shit was too funny. Uh, that oh, shit was, stop. That shit I was too funny. I would have been heated if I was He up. was like, Are you really human? He was like, In parts that count. I'm a <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, yeah, I, I wouldn't let that slide. He damn, like, no. We had some wild, wild times. Like, I'm like, Damn. I would have stole off his ass. Dude like... face, bro. That dude face, bro. I started cracking up in the theater. <laughs> yeah, that, that part was funny. It's probably like one of the funniest scenes in that movie. And then he turned out to be working for Kang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and he was scared of Kang. Yeah. You said what? I said he was scared of Kang the whole time. Like, you left us down there with him. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm... And then, like, yeah, but he ended up getting killed though because when they escaped, because he was yeah. gonna turn them, he was gonna turn them into Kane. Yeah, for real. That and that's I, why. I'm... And speaking of that, like in that scene, like that, it was a theme throughout that first. I want to say that first act of the movie. They never said Kane's name, but like they kept talking about him, and I'm like, damn, they they keep prolonging. They keep calling him the Conqueror, or you gonna he's gonna get you, or like him. Yeah, him, like, I'm like, damn, so they really, like, hyping this man yeah. up? Yeah, I feel like that's exactly what they were trying to do, hype him up and um build up that anticipation. And it's like, like, we all knew who he was talking about, but who was he talking about? Like, Scott didn't know, or Henry didn't know. Not Henry, Hank. Huh. Hank didn't know. Well, no, nah, this is his real name, Henry. Oh, damn, I thought it was Hank. He looked like nah, a Hank. No, nah, it's, it's Hank, but, like, uh, oh, they, they his, said like, the real name was Henry, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. But they didn't know, so and so us as an audience, that making us think like we actually getting worried too, like, damn, what is he capable of? Like who like what what do he control? Like what army do we got? What technology do he got? And when we actually see it, we like Yeah, when you see it in that backstory with him and Janet, when um mm-hmm. his uh, what was it? It's like a time ship or something. Yeah, his, his travel to the multiverse. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. it was broken and Janet helped him fix it. And yeah. like when she fixed the power core and tried to put it in the um, machine, she actually connected with his mind. And so everything he's done, like all the worlds and mm-hmm. timelines he killed and the people he killed, I'm like, For real. Bro, when I, I seen think, that, oh, go ahead. Because they said it was like neuro something. Neuro something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's too big of a word for me, man. <laughs> yeah, I know neuro is brain, like a neuroscientist or, mm-hmm. yeah, but it's neuro something. And, that that's raw as hell how they did that, and then how she stopped them, but she basically helped them build an empire down there, build a city. So hell help yeah. him prepare, cause he he like, hey, I know I'm gonna see it, but I'm gonna get out of here. When I do get out of here, I'm coming out there with an army. Yeah, cause he got some of his power. She helped him get some of his power back, mm-hmm. but he still couldn't leave because she um she messed up the power cord that um that. Whatever that ball thing was, yeah, that um, that was a power thing, cord. That was a power. Yeah, cord. yeah, uh huh. That was a power. Yeah, cord. she she blew it up with the uh, what what are one of the things that her yeah. and Hank created? Mm-hmm. To make things mm-hmm. large, for real. So when she hit the thing and she blew it up, that he really couldn't go down in there because that it was something called a, a 
a predictable storm. Yeah, and only like people with the suits can go on there. Exactly. Yeah. So, what do you think of that scene where Scott went down there? Man, when he when he would uh, well, first, yeah. So, like, first he was threatening to go down there. Uh, mm-hmm. King said he was gonna kill Cassie in front of him, and mm-hmm. like he and then like he was torturing him. I'm like, damn, this nigga not playing. So mm-hmm. yeah, so I'm like. So when Scott did end up going down, and he he was shrinking, like they were showing it, like the different levels he was shrinking to to keep going down, and like he was shrinking and shrinking, yeah, shrinking. shrinking. Yeah, I'm like, damn. So and then he started going in this like weird state of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was fucking with his head. That he scene was that scene was so raw when it was like a million of versions of himself. Mm-hmm. And then I like how they all came together, and that really shows how much um his daughter means to him. Cause you, he heard his daughter calling out to him that all the Scots came together. Yeah, to hive mind, up. hive mind. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, yeah that, I, that was that was raw. Like a bunch was. of Scots, just a little ants, like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but that was raw. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, the visual effects in this movie was spot on. They, they knew what they was doing, and they definitely took their time. This was some, like I said, it's some of the best visual effects I've seen since Doctor Strange. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. That I I, I kind of agree with you upon. That I uh, agree with you upon. Yeah, no doubt. Come on, the action scenes was that too. No, that that fight scene with him and Kang. It, it didn't it didn't hit. I'm sorry. Like what? I don't know uh, what it was missing. I don't know if it was missing blood or more hand to hand combat or more combos or it it just, it just wasn't it. I feel like this is the first Avenger level movie we got since Doctor Strange, or maybe since I want to say Shang Chi. Oh, Shang- what do you? What, what, Shang Chi was a big, big scope. I'm talking about like a huge scope of a mo- of a movie because the first two Ant Man movies are pretty much mediocre. Like they were bridge gaps to to MCU timelines. Like they covered just a little bit of ground to lead into the next big movie. So like it was like uh, fans, you can go see this to understand why this happens in the next Avengers movie. Mm. Like it wasn't it wasn't that big of a deal, but I feel like this was this one was a huge deal. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um I kinda I agree. Okay, that's true. That that's very true, honestly. Because uh-huh. well, Black Panther really didn't tie into nothing and Spider Man. Don't wait, what came out first? Spider Man or Doctor Strange? It, it was Spider Man and then Doctor Strange. So Spider Man and okay. Doctor Strange is pretty much connected. Mm-hmm. Cause they both, they both. Spider Man introduced the multiverse. Doctor Strange explored it. Okay, yeah, and uh, Doctor Strange was a Spider Man too. So yeah, mm, okay. Yeah, so that, those two is connected. But I'm saying, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, this is. I feel like this ties in to the the bigger story, right? And and especially at the end when I saw there's multiple versions of Kane. Yeah, but, but yeah, before before we get there, because I wanted to talk about that. I want to talk about that last fight scene with him and Kang. Mm-hmm. When everybody, uh, when everybody from a different, uh, when all the freedom fighters came and um, invaded Kang and his army. Uh huh. When I say that man got an army, he got a big ass army. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he got a. He ready for war, honestly. I'm telling you, the Avengers, they 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 better they gonna have to they work cut out for him because man, he coming and all the yeah, you, like you said, all the variants, but. Man, what did you think of that last fight scene? That when everybody came together. Uh huh. When everybody came together, like I said, I, I out of ten, I probably get like a six or seven out of ten. I said the scene, not the movie. Yeah, the the, the last fight scene. Yeah, like you said a six or seven. Yeah, bro, what? Yeah, like just because like one, I don't really like how uh, Murdoch went out. Like, oh, we didn't even I, talk about Murdoch. Yeah. Man, I, I I like how they tied Murdoch into the um movie. Because, that was perfect. Yeah. yeah, because who played him? Um, his name was I don't I don't know the uh, character. Yeah, Darren. Yeah, yeah. They but, it was Darren from the first one. No, the second one. The second one. No, Darren was from the first one. He, no, he was from the second one. You remember? No, uh, he was the villain in the second one. No, he's the villain in the first one. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Oh damn! I thought it was the second one. No, nah, because the second one was Lawrence Fishburne from The Matrix and mm. like Boys in the Hood. Yeah, the black dude. Damn, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, but yeah, I like how they brought they kept him in and um turned him into Murdoch. Oh, uh, is it Modoc or Murdoch? 
No, they broke it down in the movie. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an acronym. Man. It's an acronym. Yeah, it's like machine operated to kill. Oh, oh, something. Yeah, something like that. Honestly, but yeah. I don't like. I'm not really too like educated up on like that villain. But yeah, me. I, feel like they I, kinda, heard, I never heard of them until now. I'm, yeah, I know I DC like, characters. I don't know my Marvel characters like that. Yeah, I feel like they could have like. Well, well, let me stop. Let me stop because this is a PG movie. Never mind. Like, if I want to see some dark, gory shit, yeah. DC is the place to go. If I want to see someone parents get murdered, DC is the place to go. Like that. This is Marvel. I forgot. So, man, but like, what? Like with them defeating Kang, but like you still see like how he took over the quantum realm and how he that powerful to the point he could take over universes. What like mm-hmm. and, and that wasn't him. That wasn't even him at full strength. Like he was weakened because nah, he was exiled. And, yeah, like and still, that's another question. Like, what was so bad about this one though? That's what I don't understand. Like yeah, that's that, what I was that version of him. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess they go tap into it like more or like in the future. But yeah. uh, I mean, yeah, because they kind of wrapped this movie up quick. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I mean, I want to say quick. Yes, they did. Because, I mean, after, after Hope came back and saved Scott, like, it was pretty much all kissy, this, kissy, kissy. And, and, like, everybody pretty much got on with their life. Like, you, they jumped right back into um everybody's happy again. I think Scott mm-hmm. was walking down the street doing the same voiceover. Yeah, right. I, uh, I feel like it was the... They wrapped it up too quick. But, yeah. But uh, let, let's backtrack a little bit. Kane, the one in the quantum room, said he killed, he fought the Avengers before. He said he even killed the one with the hammer. Which he yeah, was yeah in, a, in, a different, in a different timeline, though. Oh, in a different timeline. Oh, okay. But Yeah, yeah that's what you yeah. mentioned. He said it. He said, I've killed multiple Avengers in multiple timelines. Mm-hmm. Damn, it's, it's just... It, I, Bro, a lot of like it's just still leaving with a head scratch because it's like if he was traveling time to time, was he killing other canes too? Uh, guess we have to see and watch and find out, man. Yeah, that that's what I'm thinking. Cause I'm thinking that, that's why he got exiled. Cause I'm thinking he got too big. He was on some Thanos type shit, going like timeline to timeline, quote unquote, quote unquote, trying to fix him. But he trying to fix him his way. Nah, he his was way. taking him. He was taking him out. Nah. Thanos was taking out half of populations. He mm-hmm. took out the entire population. Yeah. And I feel like because he said it, um, he said they got too soft or something. He remember he said something like that? Yeah, yeah, I do remember him saying that. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I think uh I wonder what I wonder what his next appearance is gonna be because I feel like it's still more story to cover. But yeah, because I don't know, man. They this movie kind of wrapped up quick for me because it no, nobody had an arc. You didn't see where everybody was going. Mm-hmm. Like, like, it kind of like, irritates me. You don't, you don't know if it's gonna be another Ant Man movie. I mean, possibly because he the only one that can go to the quantum realm. But mm-hmm. it's, I, I don't see where they had any character arc going. Nobody had a character arc besides but, Janet yeah. because they talked about her past. Facts. Yeah, they dug deep into her past. There's a lot of shit we ain't know about. But I would say, um. The Canes, too, because you see in, in the end of the movie, he said something like they killed the exile one. I know you mad because it wasn't you or you. Yeah, they brought and they brought all the Canes together. They said, uh-huh. um, they going to mess up. They going to mess up what we built all this time or something. And yeah. we got to protect it. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, I guess I think it, that's why they called it the Kang dynasty, because all of them are Kang. So it's gonna be all of them versus the Avengers, not just one person. It's gonna be all of them. Dang, e, dang, that's crazy. And you saw it's hundreds, thousands of them, like, yeah. and it's all different versions of them, like. Yeah, I'm excited, man. man. For real, me too. I can't. I, I just hate to see because I'm thinking Kang will be like this big, like badass. Or I can't die. Like he, he ended up down. Oh well, but. I don't know. I don't think he should have like that. How powerful he was. I don't see how Kane beat him in a hand to hand. Who? What do you mean? Who? Nah, I don't see. Scott? Nah, Scott beat him in a hand to hand combat. 
I mean, he was even weak. though he had that was, that, was a, that was a weakened version. He was exiled, didn't have any powers, or barely had any powers. He got some of it back because of Janet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You right. Uh, <laughs> but Man. overall, overall, good movie. I think my personal rating for this movie, I would say a seven out of ten. Damn, really? A seven? Damn, a that's kind of low. No, I think that I think that's kind of high. You think so? Seven, yeah, seven, seven and a half, maybe. Yeah, seven and a half out of ten is what I would give it. Damn, you just gave it a C. <laughs> no, that, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, I mean, C is still to get degrees, so. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. Yeah, me too. I enjoyed it. I, I, I rated it an eight, but I, I was still kind of disappointed. I, I don't know. It was like I was expecting this much, and I got this much. What like, was you expecting? It's an Ant Man movie. Yeah, it's just better fight scenes. Like it's an Ant Man movie. Yeah, that's true, but. He's not a hand to hand combat person. It's a, he's nah, he shrinks he's to an uh, ant size. I think they just hyped up K so yeah, much. That, I'm that's what like, everybody was hyped about. Yeah, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, he is this invincible dude. They ain't gonna let a scratch on him. But that's why that's, I don't know. But I gotta remember, this is not him at full strength, like you said. And I, and I know what his chair is capable of. Yeah, like, me too, man. Hey, man, nobody care about fucking Marvel, man. We, Shazam 2 coming out next week, bro. Not next week, but March 17th, man. DC, man, where, it's, hey, D, DC where it's at. See, oh, man. like, well, But we can get into that. We can DC. get into that another. I want to be a D, bro. You going to be I, a I DC fan. Just, no just stay, just stay I, I just tuned. I don't got no faith. Just stay tuned. I, I, Aquaman, I'm hyped for Flash. Flash man. Yeah, the Flash is what I'm most hyped about. The like, Penguin Shazam, series, the man. Batman 2. Shazam, eh. bro, we not getting all that to like down, down. I'm just saying, DC coming, man. Just give it time, bro, bro. You got Secret Wars coming out around that time, bro. Like, bro, Nate, you don't even watch Marvel shows. How you talking about Secret Wars? Yeah, Secret Wars and uh, Kane Dynasty coming around that time. Secret Wars is a show. Yeah, not. I'm saying Secret Wars that come out what? I don't even know when. Yeah, like it's like Kane Dynasty don't come out till 2025. Secret yeah, Wars come out this year. Oh, oh no, not it? Secret, not Secret Wars. I'm thinking the Secret Invasion. Secret, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, that that's coming out down the line with like around the same time, like with Batman, the Bat Family, and all that stuff. And I know uh, those um, Secret Wars, those are supposed to be like those are Avenger movies. You know, Avenger movies never disappoint. So yeah, yeah you're right. All right, that's going to do it for us today, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Infamous Ghost Podcast. And you can follow us on Instagram at Infamous Ghost Pod. And you can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Infamous Goats. Until then, we see y'all next week. Peace. Peace.